What's up folks, it's Jang here from UltimateRC.com and this is going to be an unboxing of the Aquacraft Revolt 30. This is a brushless, hobby grade, obviously, uh, monohull boat. It's been a while that I've been looking into the boat world. I've been wanting to get something in the roughly 30 inch uh, class. I definitely needed to have a V hull because I don't have a whole lot of really, really still lakes around me that are easy to get to. And this is a pretty new boat uh, from Aquacraft. Uh, it's a well-known brand and I'm gonna open this thing up for the very first time and see what's inside. You can see that uh, good old UPS has already done a number on this thing. You should see the, the, the actual cardboard box that this thing was shipped in has a total accordion job done on it. It's like they really just put all of their effort into crushing this thing. But I think what's inside is safe, so let's check it out. Wow, with the size of this thing, it just barely fits in frame. Uh, it's a lot sleeker than I expected it to be. If you look at it from the side, you can see that uh, above deck, uh, that section above water is, is, is really low, keeping the center of gravity low, keeping the aerodynamic drag low. It's tough to get the whole thing in frame, man. But uh, this is a V-hull unit. Let's see if I can turn it around and get a little bit there. You can see a little bit of the, the shape of the hull. And it's all smooth back here in the back. This has some pretty nice hardware on the back here. Uh, stabilizers are already pre-sharpened. Well, they're, they're beveled. They're not fully sharpened, but they are uh, sharp enough to cut some things. And this point right here is, is very nice and sharp. Uh, it does have the offset uh, rudder. It's all out of the way of the prop. The prop looks like it is one of the uh, copper, beryllium, titanium units, two, two blade prop. Turn it around so you can see the other side here. You can see the water intake on the side of the, rub of the rudder. There's actually a little thing on the, uh, there's kind of a, an addendum that they, they put out or a, a, little, a little note, customer note, uh, suggesting that you actually use a small file to file out this inlet a little bit, make it a little bit longer, so it'll actually capture a little bit uh, more water. All the hardware back here is aluminum. Uh, these these uh, brackets are pretty thick material also. They are all machined out of angle, uh, angle material, and it does have adjustable trim tabs on it. These trim tabs are uh, split down the middle, and these are carbon fiber pieces. Very nice there, and you can see just it has set screws for adjusting the angle on those. And uh, let's go ahead and open this up, and see what's inside of it. The tape that they use to keep the the hatch on uh, out of the box is is not really good stuff. It's leaving behind some uh, some goo. Okay, moment of truth. The interior. There we go. Oh, will you look at that? It has a fiberglass hull, not one of those uh, molded, uh, injection molded uh, hulls that are much weaker. Fiberglass is uh, much stronger and is very strongly preferred by actual real you know, hobby grade modelers that, that race these things or just are more serious about them. I'm gonna angle this towards you just a little bit here. You can see that they use uh, hook and loop straps to hold down the battery or batteries. Uh, this setup right here will run on up to 4S. So you can run two batteries side by side, or I'm assuming that this foam piece here will pop out. It's actually acting as a spacer. And if you get a single 4S pack, then you can set that down lower right there. So it keeps your center of gravity in the same spot. They do have uh, hardwood mounts on the sides here for the motor mounts, and then the motor mount itself is aluminum, and it looks to be a one-piece unit. Uh, it's bent here and here. Yeah, that is definitely a one-piece uh, stamped, uh, I wanna say steel. It does not feel like aluminum. It might be aluminum, but uh, obviously definitely metal. They do have rubber uh, grommets around it for a little bit of uh, vibration insulation there. You can see the, the water jacket, obviously. The steering servo is a Tactic TSX 
200. So we'll have to look up the the specs on that to see what kind of uh, what kind of speed that it has on there. This is a, a cable drive uh, craft. You can see that it has a, a flexible cable uh, drive on it with a five millimeter shaft on this motor. It's an 1800 kV motor, uh, six pole, six pole sensorless brushless motor. Uh, the output looks to be pretty much, pretty much straight uh, with the, the bottom line of the hull right here. This is a serious boat. Uh, this is definitely a modeler's boat. This is not just a, a simple uh, thing for folks who are starting out and you know really don't care much about uh, the construction and the details and really folks who are more like me who don't know what uh, don't know a whole lot about boats yet. Uh, this is a, a step above what uh, what you would normally start with with the fiberglass hull and with the really heavy duty equipment on it. This thing will go 40 miles per hour uh, from what I've uh, I've read. Uh, with the a 4s set up without changing out anything else and i'm sure you can get it to get a little bit faster than that also with a little bit more tuning but this thing is really serious i'm, I'm really feeling a little bit in, intimidated by it right now already uh, just because I, I did spend so much of my time looking at cheaper options and also looking at the traxxas uh, spartan which really sparked my initial interest in uh, getting a boat of this size. This thing is definitely a cut above the Spartan in terms of its build quality without question. What a sleek machine this is. I mean this is definitely a racer not just something to to putt around with. I don't know a lot about, well actually I don't know anything about the classes, the official classes of the North American Model Boat Association, but uh, this one does fit into one of those classes. So for those folks out there who do know the boat stuff, I will defer to your knowledge. Right now, I am just happy to have my very first proper hobby grade, good sized RC boat. So that's that, that's how it comes. That's what you get in the box, just the boat and uh, the little plastic stand that I haven't made any mention of because it's just very basic, just a piece of uh, molded styrene, I think. But uh, here we go, on to hobby grade boats for me. I'm gonna take my little Megatech, uh, little micro-sized boat, which is the closest thing that I have to something hobby grade, and uh, convert that over into a recovery vehicle so that if I do get into trouble with this thing, testing it out, I will uh, have a chance to bring it back to shore because I don't have a full-scale boat to do that with. But uh, like I said, looking forward to running this thing for the first time and getting you some video footage of it. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you again soon.